Okay, fifth graders, tonight's homework should be very similar to what we are working on in class today. So we are comparing fractions, trying to figure out how we know which one is bigger. Um, since these have the same denominator, we know four-fifths is bigger because our numerator, this one is one bigger than that. So if this was a piece of pie, you got four out of five, and this person only got three out of five. This one, we have uncommon denominators, but what we are doing in class today was checking to see if they were more or less than half. This one we can see is more than half. This one is less than half. So we're going to go this way on it. Again, we have uncommon denominators, and we're going to say is, which one is more or less than half. Half of 9 would be 4.5. <clears throat> so we know that that's more than half. 5 is more than half. And, and half of 7 would be 3.5. So we're going to go that way on it. This one, they're very close. Both of them are more than half. Both of them are very close, um, one away from equaling the bottom part, the denominator. Lots of times with this one, kids will think about the part that's missing. So if you have it sliced into eight slices and your part that's missing is one eighth of it, and then the part that's missing over here is one seventh, we know that this one would be bigger. On this one, it says cross out the fractions in each of the lists that is not equivalent to the other fractions. So in this case, we're looking for fractions that are equivalent. Um, which ones are equivalent? So 2 thirds, if I double that, I would get 4 6. Um, I'm thinking times 9. 2 times 9 would be 18. 3 times 9 would be 27. So this one is not equivalent. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 times 10 is 30. That one works. On uh, this one, 1 fourth, 2 eighths. I can just multiply them both by 2. This one, 4 times 5 is 20. 1 times 5 would be 5, so that must be it there, but we'll double check. 4 times 6 is 24. 1 times 6 is 6. 4 times 8 is 32. 1 times 8 is 32, so we got it. This one, if we multiply it by 2, 3 fifths times 2 over 2 would be 6 tenths. Um, to get 20, it must be times 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. 3 times 4 is not 9. 5 times 5 is 25. 3 times 5 is 15. So we found it. On this one, we need to write equals if it's equal or not equal if it's not equal. So 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 3 is not 10. So not equal on that one. And 8 times 3 is 24. 6 times 3 is not 16. They are not equal. Uh, I'm dividing now. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So yes, these are equal. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 6 divided by 2 is not 3. Is not would be 3 is not 2. Good adjust my camera. Sorry about that. It moved on me. Give three equivalent fractions for each of these fractions. So six ninths, I could divide it by three over three if I wanted to. If I divided this by three and this by three, I would get two thirds. Or I could, uh, I could double this and I would get four sixths. And I could triple that. That's when I would get the six ninths. Or I could multiply this one times 4. That would be 8 24ths. Oh, I did it wrong. Uh, I'm thinking too much. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 4 would be 12. So 8 twelfths on that one. And yours might be different. They don't all have to be the same. As long as they are equivalent to 6 ninths. This one I could make smaller. I could go 5 over 10 if I divided them both by 10. And I could call this 500 over 1,000. Um, I could even call this one 1 half if I wanted to. I keep bumping that, sorry. 7 tenths. I could multiply them both by 2 and get 14 twentieths. Multiply them both by 3 and get 21 thirtieths, multiply them both by four, and get twenty-eight fortieths. And again, yours don't have to be exactly the same. 
15 eighteenths. I think I'm going to divide that one. I'm seeing a 3 in there as a factor, so I could divide them both by 3 over 3. And if I did, I would get 5 up here, and I would get uh, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So I'd get 5 6 for that. And then I can double this, and I can get 10 twelfths. And I can triple that and get 15 out of 18 if I wanted to. And again, yours might be different numbers as long as they're equivalent to 15 18 and you can explain why. All right, fill in the missing number in this one. I'm doing it again. I'm not used to working out of a book. I think that might be my problem. Sorry about that. Let me move it this way. Find the missing number. We talked about this one before you left today. 4 times 9 is 36. So we need to do the top also. So 9 times 3 would be 27. 5 times 4 is 20. So 3 times 4 would be 12. Uh, this one, oh boy, let me think about it. I'm coming back. 9 times 2 is 18. So what times 2 would have been 24? That must have been 12 on that side. We're dividing here. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 9 divided by 3 would be 3. And 16 divided by 2 would be 8. So what divided by 2 would have been 10? That must have been 20. This one. Let's see if I'm back on camera again. 2 times 3 is 6, so 5 times 3 would be 15. 15 divided by 5 is 3. What divided by 5 would have been 5, so this must have been 25. 4 times 4 is 16, so 9 times 4 is 36. And on the bottom here, I'm going to be writing greater than or less than. and. I can see that 5 times 2 is 10, but 2 times 2 is not 4. So they are not equal. One of them is larger than the other. I could change this if I wanted to, to 4 tenths, if that would make it easier. And it's e then, when I have the same denominator, I can see that 5 tenths would be larger. This is one of those where they are very close. The numerators and denominators are just one away from each other. Again, think about the pieces that are missing. This one is just missing a very small piece, one-sixth of it, whereas this is missing one-fourth, so five-sixths is larger. Uh, both of them are less than half, and both are significantly away. In fact, they're five away from their denominator. So <clears throat> a little bit trickier on this one. On this, I would actually do something called cross-multiplication. Um, I would multiply up. 8 times 2 is 16, and 7 times 3 is 21, and 21 is bigger than 16, so 3 eighths is bigger than 2 sevenths. Uh, 3 fifths and 4 sevenths, again, both of them are less. This one is missing 2 out of 5, this one is missing 3 out of 7, they're pretty close. Five, I'm going to multiply up. 5 times 4 is 20. 7 times 3 is 21. Wow, that's really close. 3 fifths is the larger one. Coming back to this, uh, we need to think of this, on, for this problem anyway, we need to think of this as divided by. What divided by 2 would equal 5? And so we want a 10 up there. 10 divided by 2 would equal 5. They're trying to trick us there, and they threw a challenging one in there. Thanks for working with me today.